the beauty tube need a podcast episode 145 we get to talk about the patch we get to talk about ap we get to complain right we get to complain isn't that what we do best boys complain a lot of complainers in the chat a lot of complainers in madden i will tell you i have added we have added a new madden streamer Oh, my man, BDK with five. BDK is our new Clash of Clans streamer. All the Clash of Clans guys out there, check in chat. Check in with the Clash of Clans guys. Check in. What Town Hall are you guys? I used to be Town Hall 12 or something. I forget where I was. Town Hall 12. Then what happened was I used to be... I used to spend money on, I used to spend money on Clash, right? Like, I would put my $100 a month on Clash. I would. Because, listen, I'm not a grinder. I'm a spender, all right? So, for me, in one month, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not spending no money. I'm putting my foot in the ground. I'm putting my foot in the ground, and I'm not spending money. Because my boys would tell me don't spend money. Every time I would tell Skimbo, he would say, just don't spend money. Don't spend money. And you know, one week, one month, I said, I'm putting my foot in the ground. And I'm telling you, it's like heroin. Not that I've done that before. But, like, once you get in the cycle of spending the money, you can't go no money spent. You can't go, you can't go cold turkey, no money spent. You can't do it anymore. And it ruined me. It absolutely ruined me. Because it's like... Yo, it ruined me. Not spending money that that month ruined me. It did. But um, no. So BDK and Fade are, and obviously Skimbo are, are the Call of Duty or not Call of Duty Clash of Clans veterans experts. Uh, then we had to add the Dirty Nightman to the stream team. The Dirty Nightman has been killing it. He's been going crazy. He's probably like top five Madden streamer right now. Really, for real, for real. So the dirty night man had to add him to the squad, just uh, support each other and stuff like that. He's actually, and that's that's really Wanda, yeah, not Wanda, but not that Wanda. Every night he does Wanda, he gotta go, bro. Like Rag was right there. Wanda sent him back uh, like two weeks. I really, I really wanted Rag on squad like a month ago, but Wanda sent him back a couple. I'll be honest, it sent him back a couple weeks. No, but he's really been killing it for real, like, uh, and I, uh, I just talked to him. I'll be honest, he got the raps, dude. He, he definitely had, I just talked to him for like, I wanted to talk to him for like 10 minutes, but, uh, he talked for like 45 minutes. Yeah, he's really been working hard, and, um, well, I was gonna say, uh, and I, I'm, 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 and that's kind of what I want in the circle, people that work hard. People always ask me, how do I join the team? Like, Ward. Like, Ward is my guy. I would love to have him on the team, but you got to work. You know what I'm saying? I want people I want people that want to work already. You know what I'm saying? With no handouts. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Rag don't hang up the phone. Hell, he got the raps. That's what I call it. He got the raps. I heard stories. I don't know. I've never heard... I've never heard that many stories. The Wanda... No, Wanda got to go, though. That's that. That's over. We go Wanda, that that can't happen again, bro. That that that's nah. And at ten thousand subs, I might rock the Wanda. All right, at ten thousand subs. <laughs> Ward versus Wanda. <laughs> no man, it's a lot. It's a lot more people I have, or it's a couple more people. Uh, on my on my eye on my uh that i admire that's why i asked you guys who's your favorite streamer that's you know under 100 views and stuff like that you know so in youtube you guys can answer that too who's your favorite streamer that's under 100 views i have the ice guys the ice guys are supposed to be my nerds uh, if Philly's got to go get on base for for uh, Bryce Harper there, man. D Grizz, he's I'm listen first. He's he's on my short list. That's my guy. Ch 
Chuflaka. D? Oh, D's been my guy. The Ice, the Ice Brothers. Said no handouts. How can a streamer grow? Listen, I have I have a streaming video on YouTube. Give you the first five tips you need, honestly. Why does everybody say that now? Everybody's hyped to say poverty franchise. That's everybody's new vocabulary right now. Is it not? Y'all have beat that to the ground. Y'all have beat that into the ground for real. Poverty franchise. They it's over now. It's just over. They've ruined that that, that line already. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, I just had poverty franchise. The ice squad. I mean y'all gotta join the ice the ice team first. Sally. Oh look oh that Sally was fire. Shani, you said that yesterday. Shani, you said that that Sally was fire. All right. Can we go to the to the Eagles Cowboys game next year as squad as as a chat? Shunny, can we go to Eagles Cowboys in Dallas? What's up? My boy went and I was kind of pissed that they didn't hit me up. Matty Ice is the leader of Ice Gang. Matty Ice and Marty Ice. <laughs> Matty Ice and Marty Ice. It's a nasty squad. Dollar, are you going? Dollar, are you going to the game? Don't cap. Don't cap, bro. Now, I have this option before we talk about uh before we talk about everything and things like that, man. Uh Yeah, the Eagles definitely win the division, you know. But uh Slim, oh yeah, Slim Ghost got be there for sure. All right, I am going to Philly this weekend. Do I go to the Chiefs game? Do I think the Eagles get flooded? I mean, it can't be worse than this week, right? Like the Eagles, the Eagles kind of got their shit pushed in this week. Like it was that really wasn't even like that. It really, I was happy that it was really like close. Like it was, it was kind of close. For a high key, it was kind of close. It was closer than it should have been, if that makes sense. But I feel like, dude, I Mahomes got to go, bro. I got to go see Mahomes. I got to say, now I saw, I've seen Brady. I never saw Peyton Manning. I was a little young to where I didn't have money to just go to football games, right? I'm kind of salty. I never saw, oh, I did see Peyton Manning. I'm tripping. I saw Peyton Manning in Cleveland against the Browns. I did see it. It was the year he was shitty, though, like his last year. It still counts, though, right? It still counts, right? I'm not playing qualifiers this weekend. I'll play the next three weekends of this. I should be able to qualify. I honestly think it's a glitch, for real, for real. Because everybody's going to sweat the qualifiers for two days. They're going to be like 20-2 and two and shit. And when I start, I'm going to be zero and zero. So I'm never going to play the guys that are 20 and two ever. I'll play the same shitters that are five and five and stuff. My man LSU with four months. And I'll tell you this, man. I had this. I had this feeling going to the Super Bowl because the Super Bowl was twenty five hundred dollars. Now, I was like, dude, what I said was. If I spend three grand and they lose, I'd be salty, right? But then the biggest saltness would be if you didn't, if you had it to spend and they won and you didn't go like a bitch. Full send at all times, boys. I'll go play third baseman, you shitter. I just feel like the Eagles, uh, the, the Cowboys are playing good. They kind of ran into a little bu buzzsaw. I, I, I feel like I'm kind of done 
in Madden you always want to kick the ball, but I feel like in real football we gotta get we got if we win the coin toss we gotta take the ball. Four four blitz. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Madden, boys. I think, bro. I just I, the one thing about football. I, we could talk about football. There is a couple things I wanted to talk about. Uh, I I man, it's a lot. The Eagles got popped, but it was like the perfect storm, man. It was a perfect storm to get popped. Perfect, perfect storm to get popped. The real gazelle. Nah, we're not talking about football. We're over it. We're over it. We're moving on. Week three. Do we like Jalen Hurts? I like his attitude. I like his attitude. But... You know, he's got to show me a little bit more. Well, he's a baby. We live in the microwave society, right? Where, like, he sucks. He's not it, right? Come on, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, instantly. Hurts is washed. He sucks. Like, come on, dude. It, it's like... No, Hurts, Hurts will get it done. For real. Chat is to toxic when it comes to sports. Like, it's fun, though. It is tough. It, it is tough, like, putting your emotion into, into shit you have no control over, right? And we talk so much shit about something we have zero control over like zero control it's it's actually nasty when you think about it dudes tie all their emotion into stuff they have zero control over ben is the biggest bitch i've ever seen in my life ever seen in my life ben simmons has let me down I would probably say more than any athlete I've ever rooted for with with my heart. Ben Simmons has let me down. I actually cannot believe I ever liked that human being. You know. And y'all know I've been supporting Ben for forever. Forever. Like OD supporting him. I don't even know. Like he is literally. I, I think he's good. I think he'll still be great. But he's just mentally a midget. That's it. Yeah, I, I was definitely, I was Ben, I was Ben over and beat, I was. I, part of me still is, but he, I can't do it no more. I can't do it no more, dude. It, it has nothing to do with what he can and can't do. He's just a bitch. He's literally just a bitch. That's all. That's all it is. That's all it is. There's no technical things. He can't shoot. He can't do this. He can't, that, that don't matter. He's just a bitch. That's it. And I will tell you, I will tell you, it's worse to be a bitch than be a shitty player. Like, you can have zero talent. If you're not a bitch, you're better in my book, for real, for real. I don't give a fuck what they said. What, you gonna cry about? I don't care what they said. Dude, you sold. For real, you sold. If I sold my shit, if I sold that crazy... And my teammates didn't say shit about it? Come on, dude. Come on. Then, bro, yo, we want to come talk to you. No, I don't want to talk to y'all. What type of man is that? That's like, come on, dude. Bro, 
every goddamn person would hate that. The, like, then, then it's like, then it's like, right? It's like, I don't want to play. I don't want to play with Embiid no more. My, uh, and people are making it seem like they can't win. Bro, they were the number one seed in the East. The East was high key stacked this year. It really was. And they were the number one seed. So to think they can't win if they don't show the f- like wh- what? Of course they can win. You just gotta show up when it matters. That's all. Simmons anywhere would be good. He's not a first option. Of course he's not a first. He wasn't a first option on the Sixers. I don't know. The offense can't run through Ben. He can't score. Stop that dumb shit. I hate when people imagine the offense ran through Ben. Yeah, the dude that can't score. Ben and Steph would be tough. All right, enough about basketball. It's not even basketball season yet. We still got like a month. All right. They threw him under the bus. Y'all soft as baby shit. Don't throw me under the bus. No, I can't play for you no more. I don't even want to talk to you guys. I'm shutting my door. Fucking birds, bro. For real. Y'all birds. Birds. What's up, boys? Birds, man. AP patch. All right, let's talk about the patch first of all, boys. And when I say patch, I mean this cover three shit that came out. <laughs> I... I don't know what they did. I don't know what the process of I'll be honest, there was a, there was obviously a bunch of uh there was a bunch of the cover 3 bombs. The most prevalent cover 3 bomb was the verticals bunch, right? The verticals put a streak, boom, right? They patched that one. They fixed that one, right boys? That's all they I think all they did was make Cover three, not react to the wheel route anymore. Right? This is what you have to do, right? This is what you have to do. Cover three, you got two out. Honestly, I feel like it should cover corner routes. It should, right? Uh, Especially in bunch. Cover three should cover corner routes. You shouldn't be able to do a corner route. If you don't have a streak running like thirds of the field, that's what it should be. Thirds. Like, and if you, if you're in bunch and you, and you just run a corner route, it should cover that. But if you have a streak all the way to the outside, it should cover it. Right. It should cover it all the time, but at the same time, it should get fucking bombed. Right. If you put the right play out there, it should get bombed. The problem now is that it doesn't do either. It just gets bombed, and it and the cover corner route is open. So it's kind of in between, right? It got to be one or the other. It has to be one or the other. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think it should be played back because that's what a deep half does, right? I don't. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't know when cover three ever covered the corner route ever. A quarter did. For real, for real. I mean, clouds cover a corner route. They do. Put them on the right zone, drop depth, they'll cover a corner route. Be 
because when you roll out, then you can you get closer to the corner out and you can throw it over their head and then the zone goes to the middle and shit like that. I will tell you. The reason why it's so hard to play defense is the quarterback is fucking Thanos. Daniel Jones, Zach Wilson, Dan Marino, all these dudes are Thanos. They're all fast. They can all roll out. They throw the ball perfectly. I, there is no weakness in the quarterback. Uh, last year, I, last year there was no, who was the quarterback last year that was super cracked? I don't think there was a mobile quarterback that could throw, right? Like this year, every quarterback with this set feet lead is fast, but even Gannon was not this fast. Like Gannon could move, but he was not like this, dude, bro. He, these quarterbacks are insane. I don't know if it's this year. I don't know if it's this year or anything like that, but the quarterbacks are super fast this year. I, I think they're like plus 10 speed or what they are on paper. If they're 86, they play like they're 96. I promise. I promise they do. I really do. Yeah, and it's like, okay, so you give these guys the super... I'll be honest, Sefi lead. Sefi lead, first of all, the Phillies can't walk it off. They're on the road, Kyle, but good call. Yo, Sefi lead? I'm not going to say it's just as good as Gunslinger, but that shit is bi-powered. And what is it, one or two AP? Like, like really, this tough. And you get these guys, they're so fast. It's so hard to play defense, man. Gannon was pocket, but he could he could get a first down. These new I, Daniel Jones, oh my God, and and even this other guy, what's his name, Wilson? Yeah, yeah. The delay fade is too effective at blocking. I don't know. It's a lot of things. Delay. There shouldn't be a fade. There should be a delay like hitch, if that makes sense. Right? It should be a delay hitch. Instead of going downfield, just stop at five yards. Right? That's how I always felt about it. There, There's no delay. There's, there's no delay streak down the field. Maybe inside the 10-yard line. But every time it's like a, a check down, it's a running back. Isn't it like a running back hitch or a tight end flat? It's not. Bro, it's not a 40-yard play, dude. These kids are getting 20, 30, 40 yards on tight end delays. Yeah, it should be a hitch. That's how I feel. I think it should be a hitch. I don't think it should be a deep play. But they are too effective at blocking contains, if that makes sense. I don't know how, like, a contain automatically makes a contain... Uh, or a delay already eliminates a contain. That's one of the biggest problems. For real, for real. If if you could still contain a delay route, it would be a big difference. Vic will definitely come to Madden. I don't think there's a way that Michael Vic did not sign the Madden contract or whatever. Contain sucker. We said this all summer. Take contains out. You guys don't know how to do them right. All that shit. I don't think delay fades are a bailout. They're just the one thing I I don't want to spend a lot of time complaining about delay fades because you can man them up this year. Now, if you're playing on current gen, God bless you. I mean, we're talking about next gen for the most part, but you can man them up. So the complaints for me, I don't want to say they fall in a deaf ear, but complaining about it does. Uh, they definitely are a little overpowered and a little they should. Like I said, my biggest fix is they should be a hitch. They should, they should really should. You know, they should not be a deep play. Cause honestly, if you cover the deep pass and they throw a five yard little hitch to the tight end, you're not, you're not crying. You know. All right, stop it. Not after the patch. They rush if you man up. Don't lie to me like that. They didn't last night. I manned them up. I, I mean, I, I can't to talk about current gen for real. Yeah, 
Yeah, Matt, last year, current gen apparently is the same as last year. So, you know. The quarterback fumbles from hit sticks. All right, Jake, I'm I'm really just I'm I'm over you. I'll see you in a couple minutes on the podcast. Bro, Andres, I said I told everybody to throw out a sack was good. They needed that in this game. It would change the game, but everybody cried about it. Everybody said throw out a sack was bad. Good eye, Bryce. Good at bat, kid. Get on base. Somebody pick him up. You know, yeah, I felt like I felt like throw out a sack punished you for being late, trying to make a throw you didn't have time to, trying to make a throw that wasn't open, trying to make a throw that was ill advised. And part of that is being a good passer. Part of that is being a good offensive player. And and on on the flip side, part of that is playing good defense. If you have four people around the quarterback before he's set to throw, that's good defense. For real, I really thought that. This year, you do the same thing. They just throw the ball into the ground. For real, they just throw the ball into the ground. So, I I honestly, like... Throw out a sack was penalty for being greedy. Now, there is no penalty. There is none. You can try to throw an 80-yard pass with five people around you, and you literally just throw the ball on the ground and complete. I, I, I thought throw out a sack. Every time I got to throw out a sack... I, it was my fault, right? Last year, you got to throw out a sack? Fuck, my fault. Damn, I tried to do too much. Or I got screamed at. Mm-hmm. So I, w- I was pro throw out a sack. But, so defense is hard. So let's talk about this AP. Now, I will talk about this cover three patch. I don't know who the hell tested it or who the hell played it. I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened. I feel like they passed cover three and it's a whole bunch of verticals doesn't work anymore. This is good. I really think that I, that's it. A whole bunch of verticals doesn't work. Okay, good. They won't make fun of our video. Right? I like. I do like the user LSU. I do. I feel like I've gotten really used to the. Oh, man. Really used to the user and uh, used to the movement for real. They got to test the patch. They have to go put it. Yeah. Pollard or Reed. <laughs> Yo, that dude's not even following. That's the first thing. He, what's the second thing? First thing he typed. J Lav. I got to see. I got to see the first thing this dude typed. He said Pollard or Reed twice. Jesus Christ. <sighs> He's, he said it again. Chat, who do you think? Pollard or Reed? Pollard or Reed. Ed Reed for sure. Definitely Ed Reed. I, I'll be honest. I don't drop picks. Do do I get two-person contested catches that I don't catch? Do I get shit where my players knock the ball out of people's hands? Absolutely. I feel like everybody gets that. Um, but if it's one, if if it's a wide open pick that throw to my DB, they catch it. I'm be honest. For real, for real, like they catch the ball. All right, but let's talk about AP now, because the patch, the patch killed cover three more than it helped it. Uh, I think cover three is borderline unusable, but you know. And like I said, I said this all the year. I say this every year. In my lifetime, drop picks have gotten better and better and better as the year is going on. For real. Kids don't even know. They don't even know how bad drop picks have been, you know. So they have. it's definitely something that Madden has improved on for sure. All right, let's talk about AP. 
first of all, first of all, was Inside Dead Eye that ridiculous? Was it? I don't know. I didn't use it. I didn't use that ability. I really didn't. I, you know, I don't, I think quarterbacks are already pretty ridiculous. I, I mean, they're pretty automatic, you know. Now it's become, you no one's going to use it. I don't know why they boosted it all. Yeah. One to five is like, I, why did, why did they do that? The, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it was that good. I don't think you needed it. You know, I, I didn't think you needed it really. And the Phillies. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, oh, life. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Yo, he dropped it. <laughs> oh man. All right, so they they've all right, by making it 5 AP, they've eliminated inside that eye. I didn't think it, I I didn't use it. I didn't use that ability. Um cool, right? No, Stiff fucked up by having two, two. He had inside and outside, so mismatched him. I don't think I would walk right there. I don't think I walk right there. McCutcheon, uh, who's next? But I don't think I walked the bases loaded. You're up two still. A double gives the Phillies the win now, or the lead. I wouldn't walk right there. Can't fix it. They made it unusable. Okay, I, I didn't think it was that OP. I, like I said, I didn't use it. I pass every play for the most part. So, I didn't think it was OP. Um... Post up. Now I will tell you, there's been a big disconnect between the O line ability cost and the D line ability cost. You guys, if you guys have been watching me for a long time, I think post up should be free. I think that's how a double team should work. There's no way three people should be six people. Shouldn't happen. It shouldn't. We have 91 overall linemen. It's like, come on, dude. But I believe in post up. I believe in actually having to spend my AP on it because. I don't want to get shedded by two people. Um, but I, I saw Henry tweet that I, how we complain about defense is hard, but this is a major, these AP, these AP changes are major help for the defense, major help for the defense. They are period for real, for real. So, uh, for me, I don't know what I want to do, but I think I think post up. Sh First of all, I think post up should be free. I do. I think double teams should work without having a, an ability for a double team is a stupid philosophy. Just think about that. Oh, you got a double team. You got you need an ability to for two people to block one person. That's that's crazy. And not even like a power specialist, just a regular ass person. That's crazy in its own right. So now it's three people. My man G, there he is, forty five months. RG is the one that made the cover three patch right there. He made the cover three. He tested it against Bunch Corner Out with a streak two. He did right there. Oh, DD. Oh, damn. I thought he smoked that. All right, all right. Run, run, run. No, I thought he smoked that. Oh, may have an AP. G, don't promote that shitty show. No, don't promote GM Good Morning Madden on this show right here. Oh, what do you think this is? Free promo for EA? What is this? What is this? What is this? No, but I do like... I do like... Decreasing D line abilities and and increasing O line, but I do like it. I think they went a little too far with three AP for post up. I think that's a little OD. I think that was a little OD, but it is a good thing. I like that short end. Short end was a really good ability. It really was right. So I do feel like if we're gonna boost, if we're gonna boost these these O line abilities and these route running abilities, you might see. 
you might see man coverage come back. You might, because now nobody's going to have post ups. I, I'll be honest. I already thought about this. One million percent. One million percent still going to have two post ups. I don't care. I I believe in that ability so much. I really do. I do. Uh, I believe in. I believe in not being able to be be, be beat by three man rush. If you can get pressure with three, it's like real football. It, I sound like a sim guy, but if someone can rush three and have you under duress, you're never going to be able to play offense. Like you'll never have successful offense. So for me, uh, post up is still valuable for real. Um, yeah. Uh, so most people are going to be, st- most people aren't going to want to spend six AP on their O line. You know, that's almost half your OP AP. So I think three man rush is going to get a lot more pressure. Uh, and I think without these short ends and mid ends and, but if Slotto is still, and I will tell you this, they're kind of eliminating archetypes right now. Did anybody else notice that the arc? And now we said archetypes were bad. But what's the point of having a route runner? What's the point of having a, a receiving running back? Like they're kind of, they're kind of just eliminating archetypes. Now I don't know if you guys think archetypes are bad or you know, but you know, like if, if there has to be an advantage to have Devonte Adams over Tyree Kill, they have to be able to do one thing better. Really. As I watch, as I watch today, I, I really, part of me, part of my inner Madden player was like, "Damn, this game might be cracked without abilities." Part of my inner fix the franchise bot, my fix the franchise, right? It started yelling at me like, "Oh, if they just got rid of all these abilities, the game would be pretty good." Ooh, ooh, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm telling. I start. I. I don't know, man. I, part. It, it's. It's a good. I. I feel like it's a good argument because I. I do think abilities are the only thing that make people like, Devonte Adams usable, right? Like, why would I use Devonte Adams? You know, in Madden. But at the same time, maybe they could just do that with uh your 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 attributes, man. If you have 95 route running, he runs routes better. And I forget what. Madden 18 had the attribute or the thresholds. Madden 18, route running, and you know what I'm saying. Three, two, me and you. Oh my God, he smoked Galvis right down the middle. Jesus, right down the cock. Man, 08 abilities. Remember the hammer? The hammer? That was the glitch to stop. Spec catch was put the hammer out there. The hammer would... You know what I'm saying? I'll be honest. They are... I feel like they're slowly removing abilities. I don't know. I think they're slowly removing them. Slowly. They've become less prominent, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. Last year and this year, abilities weren't OP. But all in all, I, I honestly, I at first I looked at the AP, but my biggest thing is the quarterbacks are superheroes. They are. These quarterbacks are absolute superheroes. They The quarterback has not, like, just think about this, is that the quarterback in the first, you know, we're in September and the quarterbacks are OP. The quarterbacks have never been OP this early, for real. Oh my God! It's not even that a quarterback can throw, cause that's cool. But they can run, like they're fast as hell. I think abilities are good because they separate players. Really, they really do.
Yeah, quarterbacks without the mobile ones throw lollipops. But then the ones that can zip it can still kind of run. Now, Marino should be a little... Marino being a little bit faster is good because it makes him usable. But I just feel like the quarterback runs faster than their stats, really. I see. I don't think we have options at quarterback. I think the opposite, Corey. I really don't think there's options at quarterback. I think about back in my day, back in my day, in Madden Bowl, Madden 18. I feel like everybody had a different quarterback. I know I had Randall Cunningham. Problem had Terrell Pryor. Skimbo had Aaron Rodgers. It was just it was different, you know. Lately, it's been the same quarterback, really. Back in my day, I feel like I feel like abilities, archetypes, uh, really limit your quarterbacks for the most part. Yeah, it was salary cap, but we. But I'm saying we all had different quarterbacks in Madden 20, Madden 18. I feel like I feel like now now it's the same quarterback. I you know and it's weird. I don't know like I'll be honest, man. Sometimes I like to sit here and smell my own shit, and I say, you know what? Madden, tw- Madden 17 was the best. Dudes really had all different players. Like, it was fucking wild, dude. I don't know how. Like, it was, I don't know. How did we all have different players? Like, for real. Maybe it was salary cap me. I don't know, man. Y'all want to see some legends? Y'all want to see some legends? Boom. Look at these legends. Look at these legends. Look at these legends. Look at these legends. Look at these legends right here. What y'all know about Cole Toner? Y'all don't know about Cole Toner. Look at these legends, bro. <laughs> the Fat Five. Who are these fuckers, bro? A Donald, Big Toner. Toner was the glitch, though. Because Toner was, like, one of the only 10 caps. Because I don't think you could play... I don't know what it was. Toner, Toner was the glitch. He was, like, the only 10 cap. It was great though, cause everybody, everybody had ten cap linemen. I think problem was the only one out there with real lime and carry, fucking idiots. <laughs> Yo, oh, uh, you gotta be a fucking idiot to have a line, dude. <laughs> but for real, like. Bro, I swear to God, I was the only person in the world with Fitz and McCaffrey. I was the only person. Everybody kind of had Jimmy Graham, though, because Jimmy Graham was like an absolute dog. Ricky, people had Ricky, people had David Johnson. Uh, Everybody had Moss, though. Defense? Look at these boys. Look at these boys. Mel Blunt. Dude, this was fucking ugly. Everybody was all over the place. Like, what is this? All right, the D tackle was this guy right here, Jay Williams. Jay Williams was a dog. Jay Williams was a dog right here. Six capper. Big strength right there. 
I tell you what, this is where I'll be honest. I, and I told y'all, I don't mean to like blow my own horn, but everybody had, everybody had like Khalil Mack and Clowney at the end, right? But I went and put Aaron Donald at the end because he was a D tackle, right? So he was a little bit cheaper. Like DNs were like 48 cap, 45 cap. But what I did was take Aaron Donald. He was a D tackle at the time. I put Aaron Donald at the end because he was way cheaper. So he was pretty much a DN. Like he had the speed and the attributes. And I put him at DN. So I felt like I outsmarted the world. I felt like I outsmarted the world right here. And then I used Vernon. Vernon was 30. People were using crazy, crazy DNs. And I said, you know what? These guys are solid. They fight for me. Vernon was a monster. I'm telling you, man. So I saw Lignol question my team building ability. I'll be honest. I don't think nobody ever builds teams better than me, bro. I'm telling y'all. I'm a team building master. All right? Then we had Sean Taylor, Harrison Smith. I don't know why these guys were in such weird spots. I don't even know. But my those are my two safeties. Harrison Smith was a beast. Because the motivator shit worked, I think. Yeah, look, I got block shed. Because one of these dudes gave me block shed. Vernon gave me block shed. And Harrison Smith gave us all hit power, right? No, Jalen played outside corner with Mel Blunt. And then I had Dion and Cromartie was behind this guy. Those are my slot cross man people and shit. Yeah, but the only ones that... But did these abilities, like, when you got, like, deep threat and stuff, did that cost money? I don't know. And I still had two cap. I still had two cap to play with. Please, what did you just ask me? Do you want to get banned? Would you like if Madden implemented squad building challenges for special, like, please, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't play FIFA. I don't do soccer. I'm American, all right? You know how many great sports there are that are better than soccer in America? Wrestling. Come on, dude. Esports. Come on, dude. Cornhole. I right, let's be honest. Cornhole soccer. Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's be honest here, boys. Hockey, soccer, easily hockey, easily hockey, easily hockey. Hockey's not American, like football and baseball, but you know. Let me be honest with you, boys. Football, basketball, baseball, what else do you need? For real, the three American sports right there. Come on, man. Imagine shitting the most popular sport in the world. Well, how about King Mar? How about you go to the rest of the world? How about you go over there to Saudi Arabia? You kick it over there with them, and you kick the soccer ball across the field. Here in America, we play football. All right, buddy? Come on. Fuck out of here, man. Mark. Baseball isn't American. It's Dominican. All right, that was Batman with a Glock. My bad. That's a troll. My bad. I was ready. I was ready to go off on that guy. You think Babe Ruth was fucking Dominican? All right. Do you think Joe DiMaggio was Dominican? Yeah. Do you think? Do you think Joey D was down there playing with the Dominicans? Oh, fucking God. Did you Did you see Field of Dreams? Is there a Field of Dreams in Dominican? In Dominican Republic? Dominican? Hockey is good, but America can't claim it. So, you know, I'm not hating on hockey. Hockey's a W. Joey DiMaggio was an American. I mean, I don't know. He, he, he might be Italian. Was Joe DiMaggio not American? Did he speak English? Did, did Joe DiMaggio speak Italian? If I had to guess, if my life was on the line, I would say no. I might be wrong, not saying I know. But if, if they said, W, your life depends on it, did, does Joe DiMaggio speak Italian? I would probably say no.
You never. I'm just saying. It's just a guess. DiMaggio was born in Cali. Okay. All right, enough, 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 enough. Everybody, enough, enough, enough. I hate the track and field. See, my girl likes track and field. Like they all ran it. Her brothers and stuff, like runners. Like track and field is not American. You know why? You know why they ran track and field in the summertime? Because they didn't play baseball. In America, you play baseball in the summertime. You don't run around a track. What type of mindless shit is that? And we argue all the time. She thinks that track and field requires, like, thinking and teamwork and, and, like, and, you know, it's like. Then they say, well, you got to pass the baton. That's teamwork. Y'all not going to get no argue. Baseball is slow. Okay. You must be ADHD. Baseball requires the most skill. Yeah. You've never watched basketball. What? I think basketball is the most fascinating sport to me. I will tell you why basketball is the most fascinating sport. Because we all, we've all we all gone out on a court and shot basketball shot basketballs, right? We've all shot a basketball. We've all played basketball, right? Basketball is when you can, like, directly correlate your experience to the pros. Like, you can see, like, damn. And I feel like when you see a skilled basketball player, like whether it be Kobe or Kyrie or KD or even like Embiid, Dame Lillard, like the stuff they do is insane. It's like, what? Like, I, I just feel like the skill involved in basketball. Now, don't get me wrong. You can be a Shaq, right? Or you can just be like LeBron is like a 50-50. Like physically, he's like the greatest ever, right? But he also has skills. You know what I'm saying? Prime times with two months. But football, I feel like football, you can get away with just being a super athlete for real, for real. Like, they took this dude, Mylotta. Like, the Eagles got this guy, Mylotta. Who, I, this is why I hate social media bro all all day i heard them kill the eagles front office man they oh howie roseman sucks they got this dude my who is just an absolute monster this dude jordan my plays left tackle for the eagles he played rugby i think he's like australian or some shit dude is like six eight four hundred pounds dude just like just not fat like how bro this dude is like a statue and they just like, and they just turn this dude into fucking a left tackle, bro. He's insane. Honestly, he's like, honestly, he's going to go down as one of like the best draft picks the Eagles ever had, for real. Like, and for me, it's like the Eagles have had good picks. I feel like every football team, every football team has had good picks and bad picks. I, I don't think there's a team that just has all good picks. I don't think that works. I, you know. You know, that's what I'm saying. I was like, and, and it's, bro, it's such a reactionary world we live in. Right. You know, it's just like, it's such a reactionary world. Everybody passed on Metcalf. Everybody passed on Metcalf. Was he, was he a top 10 pick? No, everybody passed on him. I hate that shit. I just, it's so easy to look back on drafts and say, you passed on this guy. You passed on that guy. Oh, like. It's crazy. And I'll tell you this, bro, this motherfucker traded Carson Wentz 
and got a first round pick if you play, bro. I, looking back at it, like, bro, how did you get rid of Carson Wentz? <laughs> like, it's like when it's like when you lose, it's so easy to look at the negative shit, right? It's like relax, bro. And 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 the Eagles won the first game. They won the first game because they pounded the shit out of the Falcons. They beat the shit out of them up front. Dude, three, three of your four, three of your five O linemen are now gone. They're just gone. Two of them are out for the year. My Lada has a knee. They're just cooked. For real. And so the strength of your whole offense. Let's be honest. Your strength of your whole offense. The strength of your offense isn't a quarterback. It. it your wide receivers are pretty good. They're okay. They got some speed. You got good tight ends. You got good backs. But the strength of your offense was those 5 linemen. And three of them are gone. The early. Th- week three, three of them are gone. So, <coughs> I'll be honest, boys. I don't know who your football team is, but your two backup guards, are they that good? Are they that amazing? At, tell me about the backup o linemen you have on your team. That's all I want to know. Are they good? Bro, the Eagles are drafting O-line. I, the Eagles draft great O-line. They do, bro, they just draft this rookie out of Alabama, and people are mad about it. We drafted a lineman over corners. Shut the fuck up. Are you watch the game? Do y'all watch the game? The line is the most important. Yo, an offensive lineman is 10 times more important than a fucking cornerback. Oh, my God. Dude, I that... Oh, my God. Then, Dickerson... Oh, oh, he played his first game and a half. Oh, he might suck. He sucks. Like, like... I'm just over these fucking dudes, bro. I'm over them. Jason Kelsey, they killed this man. They killed Jason Kelsey for three years. He's not strong enough. I swear to God, Philly killed Jason Kelsey. And he's a goddamn Hall of Famer, dude. I swear to God. They killed this man, Jason Kelsey, for three years. He's too small. He's not strong enough. He can't block D tackles. Dude is unreal. He is unreal. And they killed him. Philly fans threw him under the bus. They wanted him gone. I just like, I'll be honest, I I will stand on my grave. Philly fans are the dumbest in America. They're the dumbest. I don't know, I don't know, uh, I don't know, I don't know if you guys think your fan base is dumb. I listen to these guys talk and tweet. They're absolute morons. They're morons. The same people that drew, drew, they just threw Kelsey under the bus. They threw Kelsey under the bus. And that dude is, in, that dude is, uh, bro, he's been one of the best Eagles in the last 20 years. If not top five Eagle in the last 20 years. And Kelsey, I don't even think he played right away. And now, we're, and now we're all mad about we drafted a guard Essentially, we drafted the center that's going to replace Kelsey, right? And this is what they said. This is what the fan, oh, we didn't need a center. We got Kelsey. Oh, you, I, I, I would be cool if every set, ev- out of every year, if, if the seven, if four of the seven picks were O linemen, I'd be cool with it. Fuck it. Let's give me 20 O linemen. Let's go in the camp. It's crazy. They want cornerbacks cornerbacks yeah i'll tell you what how many this is what i want to ask you guys how many the eagles got the eagles got the shit beat out of them last night right did did darius slay and steven nelson get beat for real did they chat did y'all see slay and nelson giving up shit no shit (laughs) they didn't even need to throw to them motherfuckers (laughs) like bro like for real the lineman, the lineman affect every single play. Nelson did not get torched. Stop. Slay was ass. What did Slay do? 
What they didn't, I'm telling you, like what they didn't even do shit to the corners. Bro, skill positions are ass. I don't, I don't even want to like, for real. I just, I, I just hate, and I hate how fast we are to judge, like everything, dude. Everything. I'll be honest. Most people thought the now. Let's be real. Everybody thought the Eagles were last place, right? Everybody, everybody thought that every. If you're not an Eagles fan, did you not guys? Did you guys not peg them for last place, right? Last play, Eagles will be lad. They'll suck this year. Honestly, seriously. And honestly, they looked like they looked like last place team last night. They looked like a team with a new coach, a new a new quarterback, a new system. That's what they looked like. They looked like a piece of shit. They looked like what we kind of thought. We were hype, but. Rager's kind of mid. Rager, Rager. Rager definitely looks shitty. But I'll be real. The offense looks, the passing offense looks shitty. It does. Like. I don't know. I feel like. Hertz was ass last night. Hertz looked bad. He's looked he's looked bad the last two weeks. He has. Honestly, I don't think I don't think Rager matters. If that makes any sense, I really just don't think he matters. I really don't. I don't think Rager matters. Yeah, they need uh smooth. They need my man McLeod back. McLeod, McLeod is one of the most underrated players in the last five years too. McLeod is solid, dude. Ain't no way R Rager really said that shit was funny though. Yeah, obviously Rager was ass for a first round pick. For he's been ass for that, but I feel like he like it doesn't matter, cause like this is how I feel. He'll never, he'll never be like, when you look at the offense, Rager is like, he's like the fourth, fifth option. Like, he's just not, Quez is tough. Yeah, Quez looks pretty tough. But I feel like you, you just drafted Devontae. You don't need no more wide receivers. I really don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> so when you, when you, when you, <laughs> when you put together your game plan or, right, you got to go run the ball. You got and Smith is your number one wide receiver option. Then you still have two tight ends for real. For real. Devontae has played three games. I think he's looked pretty good. He'll be better. Quarterback's got to be better. For real. For real. Well, Mar, sometimes you got to do that. I don't have a problem with that. I think they. I think Devontae Smith's a dog. I think he's good. Gainwell looks tough too. Well, Sanders had under five carries, one, because they did not convert any third down, so they had no good drives. I don't know how people expect somebody to have carries when there's no drives that they ran. They literally were 0 for 4 in third downs into the fourth quarter, right? And half of his carries became quarterback keepers because they were read options. So people look at, oh, he had two carries. Well, they ran about four running plays for him, but Hurts just kept the ball. And the reason they only had four running plays is they couldn't get third down, so they couldn't stay on the field. For real, for real. Shouse, that's a lie. The Eagles had third and threes. If this is this is the big I hate when people say this shit. They want the Eagles to run the ball in third and three. If the Eagles would run the ball in third and three and get stopped, they would lose their shit. How are you running on third and three? Nobody would want that. Come on, dude. Well, the Eagles didn't have the ball in the first quarter. Did y'all? It's like. <laughs> the Eagles didn't have the ball in the first quarter. They didn't. They didn't have the ball in the first quarter of the game. 
I just don't understand how y'all see the football games. I it's like it's just I don't. So now the chat wants them to. Now the chat wants them to uh, run on third and three. If y'all want them to run on third and three, that's cool. Seven minutes in the second quarter. Okay, well, Tinder, well, I watched the game last night. I don't need to go look at the stat sheet. This is what happened. The Cowboys got the ball first. They rammed it down the Eagles' throat. They kept the ball for a little bit. They got seven points. Then the Eagles got the ball. Big completion of Goddard, right? Right off the bat. Boom, right down the field. Completion of Smith. Boom. Third play of the Eagles' drive. Jalen Hurts drops back, lofts it up, throws an interception. That drive is done. Now we're almost done in the first quarter. Back to your seven-minute point. Then what happens next is... The Cowboys fumble the ball, and the Eagles get a free touchdown. And what happens when you get a touchdown? You have to kick the ball off to the Cowboys again. So now your offense has still only ran three plays, and we're almost done the first quarter. So all this talk about, oh, he only got it at this time, and he only did this many plays, this is why it happened. Okay, so now Dallas gets the ball again. They ram it down the Eagles' throat again. They get stopped on the one-inch line. It's 7-7. Seven to seven. You have the ball on the one-inch line. And the Eagles decided to pass on there. First play, drop. Second play, five-yard completion to Smith. We got a third and five on our own five-yard line. They don't complete. They don't complete it, so they have to punt. So there goes your whole first quarter. They didn't run the ball one time. Why? Because they ran six fucking plays in the first quarter. That's why. <laughs> like, what? Y'all really didn't see it. And it's just easy to say. It's like you have to execute on third down. That's what you have to do in football. You have to execute on third down. And your first and second down make that easier. I feel like the Eagles were in the first half. They were in manageable third downs. They had third and fives. They had third and threes. They got to execute, period. They got to execute. They got to call the right plays. They got to execute, really. JK, so the Eagles had 14, point, 14, 14 plays in the first half. Okay, after all this, right? So what you're telling me is that the Eagles got the shit kicked out of them, right, in the first half, right? Like, they got the shit kicked out of them, right? But they were still only down 13 points, and they had the ball, right? So 18 play. so they had the ball. Let's go score. I really said if you get seven, it's 20 to 14. You got life, right? But they throw a pick six. Honestly, the game's cooked after that. For real, for real. You got a young quarterback. Your O-line is down three fucking people. You're down 20 points. You're already getting kind of bagged. You can't stop the run. The game was cooked. After that pick six, the game was cooked. So like Jalen Hurts said, take this shit, throw it out. For real. That pick six was the nail in the coffin. They were already in the coffin, but that was the nail in the coffin. For real. Now, obviously, Devontae Smith fell on the ground. It wouldn't have been a completion, but I don't think he picks sixes if he doesn't fall. But that's a big, you know, if, for real, for real. Diggs had a great game. I felt like they made it easy on him. I heard that the Eagles had no motions, no motions and pre-snaps the whole night. Like, you want to talk about, I, I've always felt like play design beats man coverage, dude. I really do. I feel like you can motion people, do different formations. I feel like your coach beats man coverage just as much as the players. He definitely was ass, Deshaun. Our coach was ass. The quarterback was ass, for real. I really, they were ass. But they're both, I, bro, I'm, bro. I'm old. I got time. Let me just let everybody relax. Right? You know what I'm saying, boys? Let's everybody relax. That's how I feel about the Eagles. Everybody relax. Take a deep breath. Same people thought they'd be last place. 
are mad as shit right now. Like, they're furious. Fire them all! How he sucks! It's like, how is this possible for y'all to be this mad? How many unbanned? Seven? That's it? That's all we got? I like Howie. I I mean, I don't like him. He pisses me off, but Whew. Okay. Your ass sold out coaching Scomo really. Really coaching. I mean, what's wrong with coaching Scomo? I thought y'all liked that series. Damn. I love my man back. I'm I'm actually gonna coach my man Daddy Demu tonight. That might be the worst. King James. Can't hear you dub the music's too loud. That guy probably was that was probably a bad time. That was probably bad. I'll be honest, it was probably a bad time. <laughs> Yo, he played a sound. <laughs> Yo, this dude be trolling. Forty third is the biggest troll ever. I don't know why I banned Nola either. I don't know, bro. It might have been Cowboys night. You drop the pick, you get the dick. No, Maverick was playing music, bro. He was playing music. He was playing music. Sometimes I get mad as shit when y'all be playing. Y'all be playing music at the Rage Bands. Hella Rage Bands. I thought there was a Dan Marino. <laughs> First of all, you can't even pronounce my name right. And then you banned me after this because saying Marino wasn't for you. This can't be it. Taco. How can you respect? All right, chat. How can you, how can you ever, bro, how can you pronounce this? Can y'all pronounce this? How you gonna make a name like this and then call me out for not pronouncing this? Yeah, I'm uncultured. That's what I'm saying. Like he literally did this on purpose. Can't pronounce my name right. I swear to God, that's like the best way to troll. Make a wild ass name, then sub and have the streamer try to. Nah. Nah, Nunez. Takif. <laughs> Takif. <laughs> Takif. Taquitos. I think I called him Taquitos. Oh, Jake is back. I don't like Jake. I'll be honest. I don't like Jake. Dukes. Dukes, I think you're forever on supper ban. Dukes, I think you're forever on supper ban. I don't like when you come in here without a logo next to your name. Like, you're a guy that has to have a logo next to his name to troll Dukes. I think you're of that level. Don't add Duke. I'll give you this one, Duke. I'll give you this one, Dukes. But you owe the next one or you're done. I'm giving you fair warning. September, I'll give you a $4 sub. There you go, Dukes. This is just your fair warning. Ever since, ever since you did not retweet that tweet, I can't lie. I can't lie, Dukes. You've been on my shit list since that time. That was a bad that was a bad night for Dukes. 43rd is back. I thought long and heard hard about keeping 43rd down bad. Fair warning for the boys. Alright, boys. I don't know. We talked about football more than we talked about Madden. Let moral of the story is we're still gonna play Madden, right? 
We could suck at it. We could be 0-10. We could be sucking a weekend league. We could get disconnections. We could get desyncs. We could get the, the squigglies all over the screen. The game could suck. The AP could be terrible. The zones could be awful. And we're still going to play it. So let's stop bitching so much. RC Clean, I'm, this is actually ever clear. Straight ever clear. I'm drinking the night. We're going to have a good night tonight. Platinum Ace with a tier one. Yeah, man. I, us us hardcore assholes are literally by the balls. Like, the, you know, you have to realize we are, to, to the EA people, we are irrelevant consumers. Because we're going to be here no matter what. We're like... Right? We're like... EA's like drug dealers, right? We're the fucking dudes that are already hooked. Like, we're already in line for the drugs. We're going to be there no matter how shitty the drugs are, right? They could, they could, you know, cut their drugs with a bunch of a bunch of baking soda for years, and we're still going to be back. The game could suck. We're junkies. We're going to be back. Their goal is to get more people hooked on their drugs. So what are they? Who are they? You know what I'm saying? They are looking out there. So they are looking at the people that aren't hooked, Right? And that's pretty much every, that's pretty much every business. Like, see, Shunny, that's my friend. Shunny going to be in my stream whether my stream sucks or not. I need to go find some new viewers, right? Eduardo, he going to be in here no matter what. I don't give a shit about long hair, don't care, or Shunny. Fuck them. I don't care about them. They going to be here no matter what, right? So I need to go find some new people. Matty Ice. Do I give a shit about Matty Ice? Dollar. I don't care about them. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? But I need to go find some new viewers. Secretly, this is my mindset. How do I get more viewers in here? And that's how EA is. EA looks at us like long hair don't care. We are the long hair don't cares of EA. They look down and be like, damn, fuck them dudes. Let's get some more people. I'm saying? I, I, and, and do you blame them? I just want to expand. We, everybody wants new booties. That's why we have abilities. That's why we have the yard. That's why we have superstar knockout. That's why they don't give a shit about the Eduardos of the world. Bot Wars. Boss Bot Wars 5. I, I'll be honest, boys. I have a meeting about Boss Bot Wars Live this week. No details yet, but I have a meeting. It's happening. I'm just telling you, it's happening. It's definitely happening. Just, just, I'm telling you right now, Philly, springtime, just, just keep it going. Just keep it going, boys. Open bar, keep, just, that's it. I'm just going to close it at that, all right? Just going to close it at that, boys. Need a stadium. Need a stadium. Yes, that's where we'll be. What is demo? Let's let's host them. All right, boys. This was the Needed Podcast episode. What was one forty five? Ladies free before eleven. No, we're having an idea. No women. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. I, I I don't know if we have a liquor. I don't know. We're gonna talk to everybody. Trust me. We're gonna have a lot of people. Strippers. Nasty big Hulk. That's a good man right there. Nasty big Hulk. We we could have um, we're gonna have some no we're gonna have some some waitresses for sure. We might need a GoFundMe for this event. I'll be honest, we might need a GoFundMe because we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna get hotels for the bots. We're gonna we're gonna put them up nice, you know, in the Four Seasons or something, also known as the Motel Six. You know what I'm saying? But I do have a meeting. I do have a meeting. I have a meeting for sure. We'll leave the light on for you. <laughs> Pot Wars at Onyx. I, Onyx was closed last time I checked, like four years, five years ago. <laughs> we'll keep the light on for you. <laughs> <sighs> Ah, 
at Danita Stadium. We'll have it at Danita Stadium where we'll be. Econo Lodge. Yo, the Econo Lodge is nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Rent a spoon. Uh, I'm going to coach Dimu right now. This was the Needed Podcast episode 145. Boys, if you're watching still on, on YouTube, what's your cash app? Somebody will bless you. Somebody will. Might be me. Might be Needed Gaming. Like I said, April, Philly. April, May, springtime in Philly. We're going down. La Quinta. I promise. It's going to get done. I don't Listen, I don't care if it's just me and the bots. Will it be live streamed? I don't know. I don't even know if we live stream it. I think what happens in Boss Bot Wars Live got to stay live. Yeah, I don't think we could show it to the world. Oh, Dave is definitely going to be there. I'm telling you guys, springtime Philly. May, April, when Madden's dying. Boss Bot Wars. When it's nice enough to be outside. When it's nice enough to be in the park, chilling, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be too cold where you can't chill outside. You know what I'm saying? Big Show, you better be there. All y'all better be there, for real. No, everybody's invited. There is no invitation. Y'all all invited. All you got to have... You got to have a name with, with your name and your Twitch on it, on your chest. That's all. It's going to be like a meetup, all right? I'm not, because people always be like, what's up, W? Like, I'm supposed to know them. I, you got to at least have your, honestly, you're going to have to have your name and your color you need it badge, for real. We go, At the door, you're going to show me how many months you've been subbed, and you're going to get a color. And where you get a color is where you're going to sit in the stands. Boom. Boom. Oh, my. Let me write that down before I forget. Where's my post-it note? Put it on the put it right here. Er, Emrick Mallow Blue Mod. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just telling you. Segregation by badge, yes. And like we said, the plebes will have a, sh a wall that goes up when it goes sub only mode. So when the strippers come out, the wall will go up, and then plebes won't be able to see it. Ward, your purple badge. The wall of oh, Jazzy's not behind the wall. There it is. So the plebes will not see the wall. There it is. Name tag, badge, color, boom. Boom. Uh, you got a new account at LSU? That's rough. You're still silver badge, bro. Hopefully you'll be gold by uh, by springtime. Can we have sex with another viewer? All right, that's the end of the podcast. Put your cash app below. Springtime. Marketing your calendars, man. In Philly, boys.